And Bupinder over at Omni TV. Congrats on your baby, by the way. Thank you, thank you. It's uh, been an exciting first four weeks, I must say, yeah. <laughs> of his life. But uh, yeah, it's really exciting. Big Sleepless nights, but it's okay. Family values at the forefront, I'm sure. And uh, Vasaki comes in every year. We talk about this parade. The one just happened in Vancouver. Uh, for those that have never experienced the parade, tell us about the importance of this celebration for the community. Well, it's got uh, two very significant uh, parts to it. Uh, the first is the cultural, and then obviously the most predominant is the is the religious part of it. Culturally, it's the beginning of the harvest season. So, um, you know, Punjab uh, being a very farming uh, oriented place, um, that's a very important juncture of the year. But more importantly, from the religious perspective, um, it was on Vasaki in 1699 that Sikhism's 10th guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, established the Khalsa. Basically, in, in a nutshell, if I were to describe it, I would say he established the identity of Sikhs, not only from an appearance perspective of what they're supposed to look like, but also from the principles and ideals that they need to uphold of humility, community service, um, you know, standing up for those who are less fortunate and vulnerable and fighting against injustice. So those were the, some of the key tenets of, of Sikhism and it really was established on that day. So I think a lot of people confused Vasaki with saying, oh, that's when your religion was founded or that's when Sikhism was founded. That's actually not true. It happened several hundred years be before that. But that was really the moment in which our current identity was established. And that's why it's so significant. And that's why you see thousands of people come out into the streets of Vancouver and, and next weekend into Surrey. A great deal of pride being showed by uh, the community on hand. So what are the common rituals that we see? We just saw some visuals from the parade uh, that, that takes place when the thousands come out. But the most important rituals that take place on the weekend aside from the parade itself? Well, I think not so much in terms of ritual, but one of the most important things that you could do during Wasaki is to gather in large numbers. So uh, that's why you see these parades take place. I mean, that's why you see, you know, hundreds of thousands of people you're going to see in Surrey. But in various places, in primarily in Anandapur Sahib in India, where, where Guru Gobind Singh Ji did his, his uh, where he established the Khalsa Panth, there there's hundreds of thousands of people who gather there. And in the streets of major cities in North America, you will see Vasaki parades taking place. So the biggest ritual, I guess you could say, about how to celebrate Vasaki, participate in the Vasaki Parade. And many did uh, in Vancouver uh, for the parade happening this weekend. What are some of the highlights to look forward to uh, in terms of uh, performers, celebrations? And is this just for the Indian community or is this open to everybody to come and experience? No, I think it's open for everybody to come and experience. I mean, this is really a place where they've blocked off an entire street. I mean, 128th Street between, I think, 88th Avenue and 76th Avenue is going to be closed all day on Saturday. So it's really an opportunity for people to come, to, to check it out, to learn a little bit about Sikhism, to learn a little bit about, um, you know, a little bit about the culture, but also partake and participate. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of free food that's going to be available we for like people that. to eat. We like yeah, that. So, I mean, <laughs> food is a very important pillar of, of the Sikh religion, and, and serving free food and eating free food is very, very important. Um, so I encourage everybody to come out, participate, and also visit the Omni Television and City TV Television tent that we're going to pitch up over at 128th Street and 79 Avenue, so feel free to come on by, and if you want to learn a little bit more about what Vasaki is or, or, or a little bit more about the Sikh religion, we'd be happy to help you out. Nice. This man likes to party. The ultimate ambassador right there and family man, Bupinder. Thanks Thank for coming on. Thank you very on. much. Thanks for having me. It's going to be a fun parade this weekend, Michelle. Might need a, spe a special traffic report, and there you go. Details on screen right there, 128th Street and 79th Avenue. And start time again for the parade, do you know? Uh, 9.30 in the morning, it will leave from uh, the, the Smirster Bar Gurdwara. Uh, on 128 and 85, and then pretty much the whole day it's, uh, it's, it's going on. to be going on. So game on. it'll be yeah. great. All it's right. Thanks big for day for Surrey, you. you guys. Yeah, and I just had a look at the, the parade route. It goes between uh, 75A and 82nd, and 124th and 129th. So it's a pretty large parade route area. A lot of people heading out to catch the festivities. Thank you so much, you guys.